Thank you for listening to today's Veterans Christian Fellowship Devotional Bible Study. Stay tuned. Please click the link in the description to read along, and be sure to look up and study the reference scriptures throughout. Our scripture reading today begins in 2 Corinthians chapter 4. I'll be reading verses 1-18 through 18 in the New King James Version. Therefore, since we have this ministry as we have received mercy, we do not lose heart. But we have renounced the hidden things of shame, not walking in craftiness nor handling the word of God deceitfully, but by manifestation of the truth, commending ourselves to every man's conscience in the sight of God. But even if our gospel is veiled, it is veiled to those who are perishing, whose minds the God of this age has blinded, who do not believe, lest the light of the gospel of the glory of Christ, who is the image of God, should shine on them. For we do not preach ourselves, but Christ Jesus the Lord, and ourselves your bondservants for Jesus' sake. For it is the God who commanded light to shine out of darkness, who has shown in our hearts to give the light of the knowledge of the glory of God in the face of Jesus Christ. But we have this treasure in earth and vessels, that the excellence of the power may be of God and not of us. We are hard pressed on every side, yet not crushed. We are perplexed, but not in despair. Persecuted, but not forsaken. Struck down, but not destroyed. Always caring about in the body the dying of the Lord Jesus that the life of Jesus also may be manifested in our body. For we who live are always delivered to death for Jesus' sake, that the life of Jesus also may be manifested in our mortal flesh. So then death is working in us, but life in you. And since we have the same spirit of faith according to what is written, I believed and therefore I spoke. We also believe and therefore speak knowing that he who raised up the Lord Jesus will also raise us up with Jesus and will present us with you. For all things are for your sakes, that grace, having spread through the many, may cause thanksgiving to abound to the glory of God. Therefore we do not lose heart. Even though our outward man is perishing, yet the inward man is being renewed day by day. For our light affliction, which is but for a moment, is working for us a far more exceeding and eternal weight of glory, while we do not look at the things which are seen, but at the things which are not seen. For the things which are seen are temporary, but the things which are not seen are eternal. Proverbs chapter 3, verse 7 reads, Do not be wise in your own eyes. Fear the Lord and depart from evil. The Apostle Paul said, So we fix our eyes not on what is seen, but on what is unseen, since what is seen is temporary, but what is unseen is eternal. For many of us, it is all too often that we find our focus on what is seen. This misplaced focus can lead us to a desire for control and to take matters into our own hands. In their song, Just Be Held, Casting Crown sings, If your eyes are on the storm, you wonder if I love you still. But if your eyes are on the cross, you know I always have, and I always will. Jesus calls us into a deeper trust based on His love for us, where we relinquish all control to Him. He knows that a focus on the storm leads to worry, fear, and anxiety, which results in attempts to control situations. The Bible says that we should not worry about anything, but to pray in every situation. Believers are to claim the promises of Jesus and live the full life we are called to according to His holy word. Paul said, May the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace as you trust in Him, so that you may overflow with hope by the power of the Holy Spirit. Why should Christians continue to look to the flesh, or the world, what is seen, to provide something that God has already provided, that which is unseen? Born-again believers have Holy Spirit power, joy, and peace when we trust Jesus. And the Bible says that believers are complete in Christ. Distractions from this truth are a result of the devil's cunning schemes. These temptations come in many different ways, but one such distraction that seems to be incessant in our society today is the media. Television, social media, 24-7 news cycles, etc. We are continuously being force-fed and bombarded with information. But the average consumer of media may be unaware of the fact that the information being given is all for the sake of monetary gain. The media outlets want at all costs to keep people tuned in, and the information given may not necessarily be true. Oftentimes, a cleverly devised narrative designed to manipulate the consumer. 
This leads to duplicity and division within a person and between individuals. As we see this division increase, the solution isn't a focus on differing opinions, lifestyles, or news sources that lead to further division, but true and lasting peace only comes through Jesus Christ. Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. understood this and he said, darkness cannot drive out darkness, only light can do that. Hate cannot drive out hate, only love can do that. In John 15, 12, Jesus commands his disciples to love one another. We know that God is love and Jesus shows his great love through his atoning death on the cross for us and by guiding disciples in his way through the truth of his word and the indwelling Holy Spirit who has promised to be with believers forever. We must continually be reminded that Jesus said, If you remain in me and I in you, you will bear much fruit. Apart from me you can do nothing. Therefore, if we aren't remaining in Christ, then we can't shine his light and love that is the only solution to drive out darkness and hate. If our focus is the world, we may just be a contributing part of the problem. In Romans chapter 12, verse 2, Paul says, Do not conform to the pattern of this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Believers should stop looking to the world news, television, or social media for information or answers, and subscribe to a 24-7 news source that won't leave you angry, frustrated, anxious, worrying, etc. It's the Good News Channel, where viewers remain plugged into Jesus. It's always on, and we've been instructed by the Lord Himself to stay tuned. The Bible is the only source of pure truth and media that you will ever find. We need to have God's Word in our hearts and minds 24-7. Then, and only then, like Jesus, we too can shine His light and love to effectively drive out darkness and hate. In the full armor of God, our offensive weapon in spiritual battle is the sword of the Spirit, the Word of God. Christ's disciples must remember that we cannot serve two masters and that we should not be double-minded. Jesus is the only path to peace, and we lack nothing in Him. Let's take our focus off of the storms of the world and fix our eyes on Jesus, the only one with the power and authority to calm the storm. Thank you.